Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And we are the boy who found fear. Nailed it. So, welcome to our vlog. It's gonna be an interesting one. Thank you for the numerous people that have started watching our vlog. We've gotten over a thousand views on our last two vlogs. Which is unbelievable, because we thought that we were the only ones that watched the vlog. Apparently we were wrong. Well, maybe. Still to be seen. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, thank you for watching, and um... So we have a little bit of a long story for you today. It's the story of us. No, well, uh, first we should throw in some news. That's true. Uh, as far as news goes, you may notice that there's not a girl in our videos today, uh, as like we, we said, said last week. week. We lie a lot in these videos. Um, you lie a lot. I don't really say anything that's unless I'm making fun of you. That's true. So. so, um, well, she was going to, and then she realized that she was going somewhere for the entire weekend, so. And it's hard for her to be there and here at yeah. the same time. So that didn't work out, but she will be in our videos. So, keep Later posted videos, for that. Not, yeah, later, not the one that's later coming videos. up after this. No, later videos. We'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. That will happen. Um,. Besides that, we don't really have a heck of a lot of other news. We're trying to set up a gig at the Underground Cafe, um, so we'll see yeah, if that works out or not. They wanted us back, which was cool. Oh, I shaved, kind of. I decided that I was going to try to go for like a weird whatever thing, and so it only started happening yesterday, but I'm going for a look. mustache and these. It's the Shakespeare look. No, no, because Shakespeare had like this too. He didn't connect, no. Shakespeare just had the mustache and this. See, I don't want it as long as Shakespeare's though. The mustache? Any of it. I want it to be like, I mean, longer than this. You, you, you probably can't even see this right now. No, you probably can't. We're, we're going for that. Well, Wait, I'm so going how long do you want it to be? Shorter than that? Just enough to be decently visible, but yeah. not enough to be able to, like, so Jafar you, it. You, you don't know? want to be able to. Right, no, I don't want to be able to grab onto it and have people okay. be able to pull me around and lead me places with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I don't know why. Uh, whatever. I like to be able to stroke my. He likes to have a leash on the bottom of his chin. It's so. true. It works well. I guess. <laughs> so anyways, the story of the us. Yes. So it all began many years ago. Like, literally. Many years ago. Literally. At least eight. Probably more. Yeah. Probably about eight or nine, yep. Yeah. So it started, basically, we had this one friend, with Charles. A mutual friend. Mutual friend. Well, not at the time. Well, yes, Yes, at the time. he was a mutual yeah, friend. Yeah, he was a mutual friend. We were not mutual friends, though. Or whatever. We weren't friends. We weren't friends. We had a mutual we friend. We actually didn't His like each other. His name was Charles. He lives up the street from me, like three houses. And back then, he lived up the road from me. I just yeah, lived like a road Dan over. Moved. Yeah. So it was really cool hanging out with Charlie for me and probably for Dan too. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so every once in a while, I would ask Charlie to hang out and be like, "No, I'm hanging out with Dan today. We're playing with stuffed animals." Ha. And um. So, I, I obviously when one of your best friends is getting taken away to play with someone else, you get that little, like, child jealousness. So I instantly just didn't like Dan. Mm. Like, at all. Mm. So, because Dan doesn't remember this part, I'm going to fill it in, because... Yeah, I have... He has no I actually have very little memory of my childhood, so he's just gonna go through this It's part. all the hard drugs he did in his teen years. I didn't do hard drugs. Um, just the soft ones. Uh, so anyways, soft ones either. Uh, basically what happened was... Charles had his birthday party on July 9th, even though his birthday is on July 2nd. So, yeah, I remember this stuff. It's intense. Actually, speaking of intense, we did have tents that we decided to sleep in I outside. remember that, and yeah. then there was a fisher cat. There was a fisher cat, and it was terrifying! That I remember, yes. because that was a, a terrifying experience. Anyways, though, so we were inside playing this game, Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda, and there's this one part where you have to snowboard race a yeti down a mountain to his house. Really fun game. Doesn't sound cool now that I'm mentioning it. You know, Anyways, it was I, really fun. I vaguely remember that. And so Dan and I just kind of teamed up to see if we could beat... Well, first of all, you have to beat the Yeti. And he's not that hard. But then you had to beat the Yeti's wife, who looked like an Oompa Loompa. That I don't And know. she was really difficult because she didn't snowboard. She just went on her stomach and went down. So anyways, we bonded over that. Whatever. We got to talking. Talked about music. And uh, decided, hey, we should jam together sometime. This is where Dan can start remembering things. So, this was, we actually didn't jam together for a couple years later, actually. But then, we decided that we were going to start a band. Uh, mind you, it was a very immature, not talented, terrible band. But a band, nonetheless. Yes, it was. Apparently, it started off being called Crossfire. Yeah. I actually don't remember that. And we were not a folk band. We were like a weird alternative... Grunge. Grungy rock band. Yeah, it was weird. Um, I was trying to take out for my father, who was in a grunge band back in the 90s. 
So. Oh, way back. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, um, my, the first thing I remember was the band Fire Puppet. Which was me, Mike, our mutual friend Matt. Who Matt Holman, who has, had a shout out to earlier. And he has appeared on this channel before. Mm -hmm. um, Andrew Rader. Andrew Rader. Also known as Man Hair. Yeah. Love that kid. Gus. Or Gus. Tyler. Well, Gus was He's not called Bruce. Gus anymore. He but. was Gus at the time, Tyler O'Brien now. Yeah. Um, and that was it. That was it, yeah? That was the band. I and played we, keys. Yeah, because I am primarily a pianist. I played guitar mm -hmm. and I s tried to sing. Yeah, that's a, I think that was what ended the band, actually. Well, what happened was, <laughs> the first practice, I sang well. Oh, we had an amazing first the practice. First we practice, did the song Little Things by we Bush. We destroyed it. We were awesome. I felt so happy. Mm -hmm. and then I was the like, this is, I'm good. I'm hitting singular notes. And... and then the second practice, for some reason, I forgot how to sing. Oh, it was harsh. And then I tried it. My voice didn't match grunge yeah. at all. And so we decided to quit there. So that didn't last very long. Mm. And um, so but, then, oh, but we we continued to be friends. Yeah, we did continue the, the to be friends. Went, we invented the coolest stuff ever. We did. We actually invented this intense game. Mm. Uh, it all came out of. We used to play this video game called Champions of Norath. Pretty cool game for. Uh, Sounds really nerdy. For a it PS2, was cool. it was nerdy. Um, yeah. And in the game, there was these things. They were like half tiger, half bear, like really weird giant tiger things. And they chase you around. They do. They chase you around. Yeah. Well, and we dubbed them Gamunkies. What do you mean we? I dubbed them Gamunkies well, right, while but I, I was screamed there. in fear while they chased me around. And, and I took a video it. of that. We, we, I we remember made a, a long Facebook time ago. page called Gamunkies Exist. I'm not going to link to that in the description. You should <laughs> totally link to that in the description. Um, and we came up with this game called Gamunky Ball. I vaguely remember what it was. We had two trees. I had two trees in my yard. Two pine trees. Roughly about five yards apart. About. And um, I only sort of remember, but the idea was to hit a ball through the pine trees. Yes, basically what it was, was the batter who used a stick that was roughly this long. You remember when we tried like to use thin. that shaman yeah, staff and it broke? broke it. Yeah, yeah it's harsh. But you would stand back a good maybe 35 feet from where the trees are. Mm -hmm. The pitcher, we had all these different terms too, like instead of innings, we had outings and like hunts and outs and like it was weird. I don't remember. I don't remember what they were. But Dan had these like squirt gun animal ball things mm -hmm. that, that you would squeeze them and they would squirt water, but we wouldn't have any water in them. And that's what we used as the ball. Mm -hmm. And so basically you could strike out, which was like a regular out, whatever. Um, and then if you hit the ball on the ground through the trees and the other person didn't field it, then you would get one point, and I believe if you hit the ball over the trees and through like a field goal, it was a gamunky, mm. and mm. that was like ten points or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't really remember the point. It was, it was, some, it was really fun though. Mm -hmm. And then Dan moved. Yeah, I moved to East Long Meadow, which wasn't really that far, but it seemed far when you couldn't drive though. Yeah, when you, when you can't drive, like everything seems far. So far. So so far. Now that we can drive, it's like, oh, wait a second, you're yeah, right up the road. It's no yeah. Big. So, um, then we had an incident. Oh, we'll call this incident. the fallout. Mm, what happened oh, was, uh, I was over Mike's house. I was sleeping over his house, and we were hanging out, and Mike takes out... You were watching the movie Across the Universe. Yes. This is important. No, it's not. Mike takes out this, um, little bag with this little, like, plant ground up in it. I didn't... I was very immature at the time. I had no clue of anything. And Mike goes... Check it out, man. I got some pot. We should smoke it or something like that. Yeah. It was something to that effect. Not my best moment. And I was very, very anti anti drug. And I so was are. very offended. Yeah. I was very offended by what he was doing. Um, yeah. Yep. So, anyways, this is why we call it the Fallout because after that, Den and I didn't hang out for about two years. Literally. Right? Two years, we did not see each other. I forgot to mention something to Dan, though. Which, when about two years later, I did mention it to him, it was hilarious. What that substance was, was actually the cooking spice oregano. And I did it to mess with them because we were watching Across the Universe, which is about the Beatles and they do drugs in it, which we do not condone. No. But I thought it would be funny to make him think, oh yeah, Mike and I haven't hung out for like a couple weeks and now he's a stoner, oh no. But I forgot to tell him, which was just, it was a problem. So we didn't hang out for two years. Give or take. I was like, well... I should probably give Mike a second chance. Who knows what happened to him? I mean, he's a stoner now. He's probably doing hard drugs, but I might as well give him a chance. So no. I sent him a message on Facebook, and I said, Hey, man, I'm trying to start a band. We should work something out. 
And he said, yeah, I've actually been looking for a band. A band of mine just broke up. We had both, in between, we been in bands, several yeah. bands. I was in a band that almost got a record deal. He was in some bands that were playing around. We were in some decently successful yeah, bands locally. And, thank um, you, Nate and Adam Chivers, by the way. And thank you, the members of Saints of Tomorrow. It now was, more than ever, it was real fun. And so was Gus. Gus was a... No, Doug. Doug was the name of the band, not Gus. I don't know. Gus was the I friend. was in Saints of Tomorrow and then some other non-successful bands. Mm. But Saints of Tomorrow did well. But anyways, um, so we both wanted to start up in bands again. So we said, yeah, we should start a band. And we took Fat Andrew from Fire Puppet. Um, that whole minute moved, tragically. So and then, Dan became our bassist. Yep. And then Matt Andre, our Love mutual Matt friend, Andre. he's awesome, um, took up Cajon. And Gus came for a while, too. For a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. He was more into metal by that point, so, yeah, so he was kind of not really into work it. With yeah. Um, and that band was called An Ocean Between. Uh, we did... We sounded good. We sounded decent, but we did one sort of show, which wasn't really a show. No, we didn't audition to be in a show. We did an audition. We didn't make it and we didn't weren't make it. wearing uniforms. Yeah. Lame. What so the rule? You had to wear a uniform to be in a band. I so it slowly deteriorated and then nothing happened. Um, that was depressing. It was harsh. But then I started Your The Boy Who project. Found Fear. My solo project. Uh, my dream had always been to be in a solo project. Folk. Do it up. And it was going decent. It was going pretty well. But then I figured, live, my sound wasn't what it should be. Yeah, it's it wasn't hard full to be enough. good with a ukulele only. Yeah, it wasn't full enough. So then I said, well, I should probably grab another member. And I thought to myself, well, Mike still smokes oregano, but... Uh, no, I no, by that, that, by that point, point I, had knew, no. I knew by that point. But uh, I thought to myself, well, Mike plays a lot of instruments. I'll ask Mike if he wants to join the project. And he agreed. Instantly. So, here we are now, the boy who found fear. Over 300 subscribers on YouTube and quite happy. Lots of views, played a couple shows, well maybe like one show and like a couple other stuff. Yeah. Practice quite frequently, writing stuff. We come up with songs like it's nobody's business. Yeah. Like we wrote a song We write like so much together. Minutes. We're like the stinking Beatles. No. No. Nothing no. like the Beatles. No. I wish. Minus the oregano that they were doing. But. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways. The oregano, the basil, the crystal meth. Um, crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> subtle at all. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. whatever. So anyways... You win um, some, you lose some. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for supporting us in all this. It, it means a lot to us, actually. Oh, it really does. All the views, all the subscribers, you guys... Fans on Facebook? Also... Oh, wait. We were just about to miss, like... Put this away. We were just about to miss a valid point that we had talked about earlier. We were thinking about possibly redoing some of our older videos mm. because they aren't getting a lot of views. Yeah. Because they're not, like, promoted or whatever. Yeah. Um... It would be cool if, if you guys see this, go back and just check out some of our older stuff because it's really good too. Yeah, definitely. But just before we got kind of semi big like we are now. We're not really big. We're not big, but, but like, like big compared. We're small big. Small big. We, we yeah. can be big and little at the same time. You tell exactly. them. Exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, just check out some of our older stuff. There's some really good tunes. And there. if you don't, that's okay too. But we've actually been thinking about rehashing yeah. some of our older songs and doing them again together. Mm -hmm. On the new, with now the new we're setup. getting more views and stuff. Yep. And with our new technology, it'll sound and look better. Mm -hmm. So let us know what you think about that. That would be awesome. Yeah. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and mm -hmm. have an amazing week. And thank you for listening to the story of us. Back to you, Chip. Hey guys, I'm Dan. And I'm M Mike. <laughs> no! <laughs> and it starts again. Alright, here we go. Take three.